Victor Mombasu. I came from Doma, the capital city of Tanzania. Came to Canada two years ago as a master's student to study immunology at U of A. This video is a collage of my story as an HIV patient. Through my experience, I've learned that the hardest part of living with HIV is not the disease, but it's a stigma. This is how it all began. Hello, Mr. Mubasu. Hello, doctor. How are you feeling? I, feel, I think I'm okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Do you remember what happened? Uh, the last I remember was seeing a bus and some guy just like running over for no reason, I don't know. Yeah, so you fainted at a bus stop. Um, but you're not from here, are you? No, I'm, I'm from Africa, like uh, Tanzania. Okay. That's where my parents live. Okay. Um, so do you have any family here that we could call? Uh, no, I'm, I'm just here to, uh, to do my master's. Okay, okay. So we've looked, we've run some tests and we've looked at results. The reason that you passed out and the reason that you've been coughing is that your immune system has been compromised. You have HIV. What? Oh my god. How, how did this, oh no. How did this happen? Uh, well, usually it's something that you did. So, have you engaged in any risky sexual behavior recently? No, no. Uh, drug use? No. Like, nothing? No heroin? No, doctor, no. There's nothing. Really? Okay. Well, the only other reason, maybe, pretty unheard of, but it happens, have you uh, got a blood transfusion? recently? Blood I think. Oh yes, I got a blood transfusion. I remember that. The best I can do is prescribe you some antiretroviral drugs. Now, these will prolong your life, but you're gonna live with this for the rest of your uh, for the rest of your life. And I need you to know it's gonna be tough. They say HIV is the disease of sinners because in Canada, drug users and homosexuals get it most often. Doctors were targeting me trying to attack and blame it on me, but I did nothing wrong. First, I have this terrible disease, now I'm persecuted because of it. Right from day one, I was already a target of stigma. She basically just looked at me and said, um, you tested positive for HIV. And I kind of got into a blank stare. I looked over at the wall because that was really the only thing I wanted to focus on. I didn't want to look her in the face. I didn't want to you know, I was completely in shock. And I can remember that day as if it happened yesterday. He just looked in shock when she told him. And it, was a sh it wasn't a shock look as if, oh, she could have given me, given me HIV. It was more of a look like, wow, she found out. Some of the names some of the ugly things that have happened as a direct result of me disclosing the fact that I'm HI, I test positive for the viruses has been horrific. People throwing rocks, literally, and breaking the windows, uh, flat tires on my car. Okay, who does this? I thought that HIV or AIDS was what society said it was, a disease that was meant for people who didn't fit into the stereotype or heterosexual motto, you know, to get rid of those people from the face of the earth. People don't realize that when you go to the store, wherever you go, there's someone sitting next to you, close by, walking by, driving by, next door, or whatever that's living with HIV. But because of their fear of someone finding out, people don't know. 
because of their fear, someone's not getting help that they need because people don't know. And so people walk around thinking it's what they've seen either on a news clip or even in a movie. I think a lot of people misunderstand that HIV is just like cancer, it's just like diabetes, it's just a disease that affects the blood, that happens to affect the immune system. And we aren't bad people trying to get well, we're just human. We pay taxes. We deserve to be here just like they deserve to be here. We're worthy just like they're worthy. You have no idea what truly that person's going through. Make their day a little easier. Make their week a little easier. You know, show your support. Look sad.